The dinosaur chicken nugget. Its shape, its taste, it's enough to bring back even the sweetest memories. Imagine, it's 2007 and you're lounging on a couch watching an episode of Wow Wow Wubsy when you hear a growl from your stomach. Suddenly, is it? Ah yes, the garage door. Your alcoholic mother stumbles in. Oi, little twat! Adding to the electricity bill, I see, murmurs your multinational mother who cannot commit to one accent. Mom, I'm hungry. Can you please cook me something? You murmur under your breath. Not a chance, you bimbo. Now there is my Hennessy, she murmurs as she grabs a bottle of Hennessy. I will now retire for the evening, she murmurs. You stumble over to the fridge and grab that all too familiar bag. Guess it's you and me tonight again, pal. Host Jennifer Lynn. You know, chefs always say food can't be tall. Food can be long, like a burrito or a hot dog, but food can't be tall. Well, I'm gonna change that today because we're gonna make something tall. Yeah. Call me, call me a pioneer. Call me Christopher Columbus without the genocide. Mm. Mm. Ingredients. Obviously, the dinosaur chicken nuggets, and to accompany it, ketchup. And now, what did I teach you last time? Garnishing. Garnishing is the most important part of gourmet meals. So of course, a little bit more time. You know what people say about time. Time is precious. It really depends on what people value, you know? I didn't. I didn't choose this upper class kind of lifestyle, but it chose me. And I'm here to give you an essence of that. But just know that you'll never fully replicate the class, the, um, the, the taste, the elegance, but you can try. And that's what this show is about. And finally, we have this um, lovely dish, this silverware with um, lovely silver detailing. Almost forgot. One single pasta strand. Very, very important. One single pasta strand. All right. Are we ready? I think we're ready. Are you tired of being violently assaulted on the streets? Hey, you. You look like a dweeb. I'm going to assault you with this stick. Oh, man. I can't stand physical pain. Well, come on down to the hardcore death metal tattoo parlor where we will make you look street ready in no time. Before. After. Now you look like someone that shouldn't be messed with. Let's check back to that previous situation and see how it goes now. Stop right there. I think I want to assault you with a Japanese spoken. Hang on. Look at my tattoo. Oh my god. Only a hardcore person would get that tattoo. I think I'm just gonna turn around and leave the other way. So what are you waiting for? Come on down to the hardcore death metal tattoo parlor and we will give you a free consultation. Wow. Where are we located? at the second stall of the woman's bathroom inside the Home Depot on Frog Creek Road and Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard. It's pretty important this time, just because of the dish that we're doing, that we choose the, the dinosaur nuggets with the most amount of surface area. Just because that's what we need. And I would say Stegosaurus is our best guess. So go ahead and try to get as many of the Stegosaurus. I'd say this is a good amount, and notice how I chose all the fat ones, that's very important. If you remember what I taught you last time, gourmet meals are never microwaved. Always get a skillet. Go ahead and turn on the heat and then oil up that pan. Go ahead and evenly put them in the pan.
Look at that nice brown to them. Once you get a nice cook and it's soft all the way through, it's time to plate. Lovely. Now I have placed all the meat on the cutting board and we're ready to transform. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to get through a thing called fish death. Electric word fish death, it means forever, and that's a mighty long time, but I'm here to tell you there's something else. The afterworld. A world of never-ending happiness where you can always see the sun. Day or night. So when you call it that shrink in Beverly Hills, you know the one, doctor, everything will be all right. Instead of asking how much of your time is left, ask him how much of your mind, baby. Because in this life, things are much harder than the afterworld. In this life, you're on your own. And if the elevator tries to bring you down, go crazy. Put your hands up for our next performance. My fish just died It's dead Which means it's no longer alive It can't swim I flushed it down the, down toilet. the toilet It was traumatic. traumatic I'm never recovering I'm not, not being traumatic, traumatic. Rest in peace, Gilly Bobby Drown. Swim back to me, baby. Wow, what a beautiful tribute. Now, if we'll put our hands together and welcome the CEO of Petco to say some words. No! Oh, same shirt. Same shirt. Anyways, deepest condolences. Gilly was a perfect fish, and I am actually here because I suspect wrongful death. Dude, I'm grieving here. A goldfish has a lifespan of up to 10 years, and how old was Gilly? Two years, but she had a great life. Shut the fuck up, we are arresting you. What? For a goldfish? You are being put on trial, you absolute tramp. Cut the cameras. Cut the cameras, dead ass. Now we are ready to give them a nice even shape. Now we have these like nice little squares. Look at that. Now we're done with the trimming and we have a lovely set of nice even shapes. And you can do whatever you want with the trimmings. I just, um, I discarded them, obviously, because I don't eat that shit. And now we're ready to plate. Breaking news, we are outside the downtown courthouse across the street from the Home Depot on Frog Creek Road and Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard, and we are getting word right now that the court proceedings are about to start. Let's cut to court. Oh, same shirt. Anyways, um, bringing the defendant for questioning. Look, I didn't do anything wrong. Shut up. Shut up. How often do you change the water? Like, like once every few weeks? And do you feed them regularly? I think so. I'm sorry, but how many fish have died under your care? Like a few? Look, this is an overreaction. They are just fish. Just fish? Just, just fish. fish? Just, just fish? fish? Just fish? Just fish? Quiet. Well, I don't think you're gonna mind when I sentence you to just the electric chair. Ooh, what? Hey, I was wearing the same shirt, too. Anyways, she was put to death just seconds ago. Damn, I love the criminal justice system. Coming up next, are teenagers using secret lingo to talk about drugs? Wow, okay, so my camera just decided to die on me halfway, so put three dollops on the plate, and then I did the little swirl thing. Look at how elegant. Now I stacked it up, and it's like the three pyramids of Giza. And of course, to stabilize, I put the pasta in. A little garnish. And look at that, voila. You know, this is called a prestigious meal, is what it is. Um, mm. 
Mm. And you get these small bikes. It's so intricate. The flavor profile just bursts, you know? And like, this is definitely most certainly cooked through. It's not frozen at all in this oven, that's for sure. Yum. You are my jellical choice, and you could just die right now. I don't have any words. I'm what a waste of your talent, Deborah. Yeah, I'm puppeting Jesus' <laughs> cat face on After Effects. <laughs> For me! Well, I was just saying that um, you are my jellical choice and you could just die right now. <laughs> jellicles would, jellicles would, and jellicles can, jellicles can, and jellicles do. Okay, I'm gonna stop here. I don't know if I can do <laughs> No, what the fuck? I thought we were gonna do the whole song. The whole song? Didn't we do this already? <laughs>